Hello and welcome to part two of this tutorial. And this tutorial shouldn't be much longer. I'm so sorry about this. I, I should have uh, thought ahead of not trying to do this all in one video. But anyways, um, I had to make uh, some small adjustments. And as you could see, uh, before I had a confirm box. I'm, I'm sorry, it flew out of my head. Prompt box. And the other one was, uh, you don't divide it by the amount, the total amount possible, which was um, how many classes you're taking times four. It's just how many classes you're taking. So this is five classes, so you just divide it by five classes. Uh, and I'm sorry about that. Okay, so now we're going to have it write document.write, your GPA is, and it will say Adam.GPA. And now what it's going to do is, since we created this new object, Adam, and we're referring it to this report card constructor, it's going to take in all these pieces of data that we typed in before all this happened, convert them all into integers, and then pass them all as parameters. Then what happens is that they're then taken in with these corresponding variables created here. So the A is now English, B is math, C, D, and E. The converted values, uh, as you can see, are on this side. We're now setting report card dot, and then whatever this is, equal to whatever value we put in earlier, as you can see. And what this does is we can keep creating uh, new variables, new objects. So I could do Adam, then I could do Matthew, I could do, uh, I don't know, Jack, John, James, all these other people, uh, and pretty much put in their information for their report card if I wanted to. And right after their names, you would put a dot, as you can see here I did, and then refer to whatever you want, the ing, the, or the eng, excuse me, math, sci, hist. In this case, I just did the GPA. And what this is, is a method, because instead of just assigning a specific value, uh, it will refer to a function instead, in which we created our own variable, so I did GPA. It takes in all of these. So notice how I didn't put adam.ing, because we're now, since we're still inside the constructor technically, we're still referring to that constructor, uh, we do not have to type in adam.ng or reportcard.ng or whatever. So we're taking all this information, add it together, and then divide it by five to get our GPA. Then we return the GPA value and then set it equal to grade, basically. Or grade is the name of the function. It's set it equal to this. So it does set it equal to grade. And notice how when we're referring to that function, we do not put parentheses there. Ah, so that's a lot of stuff, but it still does this. So we can still have it right. Uh, you had and I put an atom dot ng points in English. So it'll tell me how many points I got in English. So if I click save and then when I refresh the page, as you can see I had to do that test earlier. That's how I knew I made that mistake. So type in your grade for English in numbers. So zero is an F, four is an A. So what? So what's for English? Let's just say an F. It's a zero. Uh, math. Let's make it a four. So I'd say I got an A in there. Science, definitely an A. History. Uh, let me think about that for a moment. Uh, probably an F. Music. Mm, I'm not quite too sure about this. I'm just go with an F. So as it says here, your GPA is a 1.6. That's not too bad. It's almost average. And you had zero points in English. And as you can see, I didn't just uh, when it says you had zero points in English, I could have just put down a conv to put in you know for the number, but I didn't. I refer to the object instead. So this is the object right here, and then this will either be a method or a property that you're referring to. If you're referring to a property, you need to make sure you have your parentheses there. If you're referring to, excuse me, that's a method. If you're referring to a method, uh, make sure you have your parentheses there. If you're referring to a property, then 
it's just like this without the parentheses. So as you could have imagined, well, what's this? This document dot write with the parentheses after that. Yes, there are predefined objects, and we are going to go into them in future in these next few videos. So this is the document object, and this is the write method, and these are pretty much the pieces of information that we uh, put inside the parentheses. So this is a method. And that's about it for this tutorial, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I know this is this is a lot of stuff, so uh, watch this again if you have to, because this is the core of object-oriented programming, creating your own objects, or um, initializing your own objects, instantiating them. All those different words, they're all, they're all different. But, man, this is quite a bit of stuff. So uh, I'll see you next time.